Good morning, or good evening. It's now morning. I am very tired. <laughs> uh, good evening, everyone. <clears throat> hey, Loser Corner, always good to see you, sir. I mean, I'm having a good day. Took the day off work, got to um, hang out with my wife and my mother-in-law and the baby today. Um, baby took to her grandmother very well, despite having not seen her in a while, which is always exciting. Um, had barbecue, went to went on a little adventure, went to the zoo. It was a really, really good day. I, I had a fantastic day. Um, I hope you had a really good day, Loser Corner. Um, that being said, I am extremely tired. <laughs> like, I, can't, I apparently don't even know what day, what time of day it is. I said good morning instead of, you know, even, it's like 8.30 p.m. my time, but <laughs> good morning, everyone. Yep. All right, it's Friday. It's doom time. And that means it's time to hop back in to no rest for the living. I believe I'm on map three right now. So far, the uh, map design has been pretty good, and the community-made music has been pretty, pretty, pretty good actually. But we'll hop in, see how it goes. Who knows? It might actually end up being fantastic. First few levels were had some very large optional fights for some reason, and well, one of them was to get a super shotgun, but I'm pistol starting, so it didn't help me at all. All right, well, without further ado, I do believe we will be ready to hop in here. All right, let's go. So this is oh map four. Hell Mountain. Hey, Bitefire, good sir. Happy Friday. Uh, it's dark, guys. I don't like the fact that it's dark. Oh, hello. This music's lit. Man, why, why would I ever listen to any normal Doom music when the community can just put together such better stuff? Okay, so there's actually, there's hit scanners ahead. So for the first time ever, an invisibility sphere might actually be useful. But Doom Guy refuses to shoot up, so it's not being very useful. Okay, it's scary here. Okay, so the secret map's here. Okay, good, 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 good. Thanks for the heads up. Do you know if it's in an official, officially marked secret? So I think that's the, the most important point to me is, if I look for all the secrets, will I find it? Ow. Okay, I got a rocket launcher, and everyone knows I'm really good with the rocket launcher. Forget the fact I haven't hit a single shot yet. I am fantastic with the rocket launcher. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Look, and they gave me replacements already. How many enemies are there? 93? Pfft. That's nothing. And all these enemies are frankly, they're killing themselves for me. I mean. See, now they're all having a fight. Come on. There we go. You all work out your issues. I'll just hang out here.
It doesn't look like the Arachnotrons can hit the Hell Knight. That's exactly right, Loser Corner. Okay, I'll try not to look up the uh, the actual wiki page right off the bat. I'll see if I can... Fucking Chain Gunners, man. They, like, bane of my existence. Jesus Christ. Whoops. And Loser Corner, I have forgot about all the times I've given myself with a rocket launcher. How do you think I motivate myself to keep using it? I just simply forget all the times I fucked up with it. It's the best system, really. Okay, no, no, you just, you guys just stay back there. It's fine. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. There we go. Okay, so I got a super shotgun now, which just makes life better in general. Nope, shit, nope. <laughs> ah, hello, Jay, asking the question of the day right from the get Die Katana was not your favorite game accomplishment. You've never played Die Katana. Or at least you've never told me you played Die Katana. And even if you have played Die Katana, I have sinking suspicion that that is not your biggest gaming accomplishment. Oh, you tried the first level last week, and how did that go for you? I'm just doing a quick sweep for some secrets, just checking around here. Okay, and was getting through the first level of Die Katana your biggest game accomplishment? Do you look back at that and say, I am so freaking proud that I finished the first level of Die Katana? Do you just look back and you go, man. Oh, you didn't even finish it! So what, you think loading it up? You're like, oh, I loaded up Die Katana it is. Simply by loading it up? I mean, what do you think this is, black and white? Like, you, like, just loading it up is not an achievement. It's not like black and white where if you manage to load the damn thing up, you might as well turn the game off. You've completed the hardest boss. Oh, very clever. This is your monster closet taco. I don't know why I'm like trying to preserve shells. I've seen so many boxes of shells already. Yeah, yeah, black and white. Don't you think I've forgotten about black and white? Literally the hardest part of that game is loading it up. No feet in the game is more difficult. Okay, so I gotta open up that first before I can get in there. Well, I mean, like, remember, like, Blake Stone? <laughs> let's let's reach let's reach back. Let's reach back to when when we played Blake Stone, and how every time we tried to play Blake Stone, it would fuck the computer over. And I still to this day have no idea what was going on, what it was causing, or if it was just dad. You know, dad and all his computer skills trying to install that game. For all we know, he was the reason. It was broke as shit. But anyway, so platinuming Dark Souls is your, your proudest accomplishment. I mean, that is a big accomplishment, considering the reputation Dark Souls has. Getting every single achievement in that game must have been quite the feat. 
What about you, Loser Corner or Bitefire or anybody else in the chat right now? Do you have any proud gaming moments? And you know what? It doesn't even have to be anything crazy. Just what what gaming moment made you feel? I don't know why I knew that was there. Something about this wall seemed off, and I was like, I'm checking that wall. Why would it just be dipping in like this? That's weird. The answer to Blakestone is Capstone, the pinnacle of entertainment. <laughs> And I remember really liking Blake Stone, actually. <laughs> like my my young brain loved it. As for me, being map 32 of your Eve Eternity, you use saves, yes, but you max the map, and I know one day I'll be able to do a save list. Should I play Eve Eternity next? After I'm done with my dad's wads. It's one of those, another one of those, like, wads I've heard a lot about, but I've never actually seen anybody play. And, of course, now that I'm playing mods, I'm afraid to, like, look at any mods or watch anybody play any mods I haven't played before. Because I'm like, I might play that one day, and if I play it, I'm not going to want to be spoiled by it. Okay, we're just going down here, are we? Oh boy, what does this take me? Oh, red key. So the red key's a secret. Man, this 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 song is just straight fun. As for my proudest accomplishment, I don't even know if I should be proud of it. Because it's not even... Because what I did isn't even, like, a testament to, like, difficulty. More so a testament to patience. Um, in World of Warcraft, there is an achievement called Insane in the Membrane. Now, for those of you who have pl haven't played World of Warcraft... Uh, there are many different factions in the game. Oh, my webcam is broken. There's many different factions in the game, and all these fa factions have, like, reputation that you gain by doing quests. And the reputation is represented by, uh, is, is it based on numbers? So, uh, you're a neutral with a faction for 3,000 points, then you're friendly with them for another 6,000, honored with them for the next 12,000, revered for the next 21,000, and then you get to Exalted, which means that's as high a reputation as you can get with those factions. Um, so there's an achievement called Insane in the Membrane, and it's essentially to become Exalted with a bunch of factions that were so obscure in classic World of Warcraft that you were never expected it was possible but no one ever expected you to get, become exalted with these factions because of the work that had to go into it. And to give an example, um, there is this enemy faction you can get rep with uh, by killing guards in a certain city. But killing all those guards makes you lose reputation with the goblin cities. Because you're killing goblins. Okay, where am I? Where am I going? Up here. Okay. Um, because you're you're killing goblins, so you lose reputation with the goblin. What did I pick up? Yellow. Okay. <laughs> uh, with the goblin factions. So I got myself way down to like hated with the goblin factions. Like they absolutely hated my guts. Which is actually like negative points. I went like negative 36,000 points um but you needed to become uh like honored with this 
enemy faction to get a certain quest set of quests done for the achievement. But you are also supposed to be exalted with those four goblin cities that I just fucked over. So Oh, hello. So the only way to get my rep back with the goblins was to kill pirates in certain parts of in certain parts of the game, which give you five reputation points a kill. And keep in mind, I'm hated with them. So I needed something like 96,000 points. So divide that by five, and that's how many pirates I ended up killing to get back to Exalted <laughs> with those other factions. And that's just half of the reputations you were meant to get. There was other ones where I like pickpocketed boxes for like 10 hours straight. It was, like I said, it wasn't even like, calling it hard is wrong. It wasn't hard, but it was a testament to patience. Like you just had to be patient. Okay, if there's a door here, how do I open this door? But, yeah, that's probably my biggest, like, I look back at that, because I'll proudly wear the title. Because you get a title for your character, and it just says the insane. So, my character in the game, his, over his head, it says Naxxus the Insane. Which I just think is 100% correct <laughs> for me doing that goddamn achievement. Let's go. Am I going this way? So I'm, uh, I was proud of myself for doing it. I proudly wear that, that title. Does that open that up? Okay. Oh, oh, fuck, hello. No, 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 go away. Yeah, like, insane is exactly what it was. There's no, like, in-game benefit to it. There's no... You don't get any gear. You don't get, you know, any sort of, like, advancement on your character. Literally, the point of it is just to get that title. And I guess you could say bragging rights. I'm, like, sure I left a box of shells here somewhere. But where? Oh, that just brings me there. Okay. Anyway, so bite fire. So you're saying Eve Eternity is not as chill as back to Saturn, but is an excellent PWAD. Okay, on a scale of one to Sunlust, <laughs> where where does Eve Eternity fall? Ah, there it is. We're working on a new mecha. Another new mecha. That's that's a lot of mecha, sir. <laughs> okay, can I open the store now? Oh, there's a switch up here. Okay. There. I've opened the door. Okay, I can deal with pinkies. But I'm like certain I'm gonna open one of these doors and like... Fucking 90 barons are gonna come out after me. Like, there's no way there isn't. But not just a Mechagodzilla? What else you got? Okay, so the exit just left. Why, why'd you leave exit? So, if Sunless is a 10, you'd put Eve Eternity at a 7 or 8 as an overall experience. But Map 32 is a 10 all by itself. Okay, so it still says I'm missing a secret.
So, I'll come back to that. Okay. The next question, um, Bitefire, would you say Eve Eternity as a level set is, like, more fun than Back to Saturn? You're making a Mogera. Dude, you're, like, digging deep into the... Toho Mythos with that one. Nobody fucking makes Mogeras. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, where am I missing a secret? And more importantly, if I'm missing a secret, where am I missing three enemies? Okay, so you would agree with that? Be back to Saturday one suffers from a bit of tech-based fatigue. Okay. Now, luckily, I won't be like marathoning anything, and maybe that that maybe that's a good thing. I think that's part of the reason why I don't marathon Doom Wads. Because a lot of Doom Wads I feel like could easily become repetitive if I try to. I mean like Sunlust probably would have like broken me. Oh, what's the nice plasma gun. No, it didn't give me ammo for it or fucking anything, just whatever. But I think that's why I try not to marathon run. But at the same time, I'm going to eventually run out of things to do with Vanilla Doom. So, I'm probably going to have to suck it up and start marathoning some mods either way. Okay. This way. Alright, guys. We did it! Hell Mountain completed 100% March of the Demons. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. I have to do this. Alright, what, what are we doing in this secret level? What what makes this secret level so special that they wanted to hide it? Okay, I got some pinkies and imps already. Don't worry guys, the camera will eventually fix itself. We just need to get past the first half hour. I don't know why this happens. Okay, can I get more infighting? I'm not exactly sitting on a ton of ammo here. Unfortunately, pinkies don't accidentally eat imps, so... Ah, there we go. That was, that was, that was pretty smooth by me. I think that was a pretty good job I did. Just, just take the fireball to the face is the best strat, really. See, I, I do hope that the secret level offers something a little, a little more interesting because I find secret levels should, if you're gonna make them, uh, hide them, should have something like cool or special to them, cool mechanics or like hyped up difficulty, like something to set them apart from the standard fare. I didn't mean to pick up that med kit. That was that was a waste. So I, I hope that's what I'll get here. I'm gonna hell night on me when I only have a shotgun it strikes me as uh this is gonna be one of those levels with like low ammo in it or something. Oh fuck, hello. Well, 
think I can punch three of you out. Oh, there's... Oh, fuck, okay. I, I didn't realize that I was being followed by a fucking zombie apocalypse back here. You know, as most people in a, in a zombie apocalypse never seem to hear or see the zombies coming and end up dying as a result. Where did you guys even come from? I'm confused as to where they even came from. Now I just check, like, every flat fucking wall, because that seems to be where they're hiding secrets, is in the flat walls. Cubby holes are just sus now. Oh, did they teleport in? I wasn't sure how... What kind of mechanics to expect from, um... Ooh, hello. What am I looking at here? Wide open rooms are never good in non Doom 2 scenarios. They're... Oh, you have played this before. Okay. I wasn't actually sure. I mean, like, how do I love Doom so much? and yet always seem to be behind on all things Doom. Like, there's so many, like, great fucking wads out there that I've never played, and... You know, I've never pistol started Doom. Like, I love Doom, but apparently have just not properly experienced much Doom. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of breathing and movement. Neither of which is good. Oh, come on. That, that should be a secret. I have a feeling this gear... Or this, this switch gear is gearing up for something terrible. There is a reason why this is a secret level. Okay. Didn't mean to pick up that box of bullets. Quite the waste. Only got 33 enemies so far. Oh, for fuck's sake, this camera. Again, if we can get past, like, the 30-minute mark, we're fine. It stops fucking up, and I don't know why. I'm trying to see if I can do more infighting, because I don't... I never feel comfortable having just a shotgun. Like, I feel like I need to do infighting to... Make up for the fact that I'm only carrying a shotgun around. Okay, I'll just I'll just punch it. Punch it, punch it, punch it. Okay, this this is good in fighting possibilities here. If fucking hell night, man. There we go. That's it. Why am I using my fists to save ammo? I I am anal about trying to save as much ammo as possible. So, so, if infighting isn't much of an option, I will I will fist it up. Especially against pinkies, because pinkies uh, are something that I can pretty reliably punch out. I should kill them here. Okay. Uh, 
Kieran Roy, I can guarantee you that is 100% truth. I am, in fact, nuts. My webcam is shit. Um, but I am, in fact, nuts. I am absolutely crazy. I, I... But I am anal about, uh, about, uh, saving ammo. What can I say? But how are you, Keenan Roy? How are you doing this evening? Welcome to my channel. Oh, God, I'm apprehensive that something terrible is going to happen here. Oh, oh, oh hello. Oh, I, uh, I am pistol starting every level. Every, I, I played uh, the Sunless Wad, pistol started, every level, and since then, I almost feel like it's too easy not to just pistol start. I feel like if I, I don't pistol start, I'm cheating somehow. So unless a Wad is specifically created to be continuous, I, I feel like I'm obligated to pistol start. That might be extremely dumb attitude to do. Oh my freaking god. Maybe I gotta mess with the cable or something. Hang on, guys. Let's see if this, this fixes it. Oh, I did? Oh, you mean like I missed a chainsaw in the level? Oh, well, I better go find a chainsaw. Uh, where did I come in from? Over here. Let's go hunting for chainsaws. Which Doom Demon do I hate the most? Pain Elemental, and it's not even a fucking competition. <laughs> The Pain Elemental is legitimately the worst thing that's ever existed in this goddamn game. Or, or, or any Doom game in general, actually. Just the fucking Pain Elemental is legitimately the worst. I will find it. I'll just, I'll just have to... Revenants are irritating. Especially when they're in, like, large groups. Like, if they're in a large group, they're extremely, extremely irritating. Um, but I find they're manageable simply because they're... They don't have a lot of health, so they're easy to kill. However, only annoying depending on how they're used. So, like, if you consider Doom 2... Like, the, the, obviously the worst part about an Archfile is it's resurrecting. Like, there's two obviously really annoying parts. One's the resurrecting... I... Where is the secret? Uh... Yeah, so they... Obviously, resurrecting is the worst. Oh god, what did I just do? Okay, it's not, it's not terrible. Uh, but then their second is the attack that you can't dodge. Like, you have... You have to hide from them. But if you think, of, like, back to Doom 2... Doom 2 very rarely used the Arch Files, and when they did... There wasn't, like... A lot of effort put into them. <laughs> Right, like, the, oh, I think I've somehow ma managed to make it worse. So, so Doom 2 didn't really, uh, Doom 2 didn't really use the arch file in a lot of ways to make it extremely irritating. However, a lot of no, nope, no, nope, this has made it worse. I will find a position to put this fucking webcam, I swear to God. Hello? We good? 
Are you going to cooperate now, camera? But like, uh, uh, like Sunlust, for example, used Arch Files in like just the worst way. Just ruins it, right? And Arch Files just became absolute dog shit <laughs> to try and deal with because of Sunlust. However, Pain Elementals, to me, have never not been extremely annoying. They infinitely create more enemies. I can't use rocket launchers on them because they spit fucking skulls in my face. And constantly make me blow myself up as a result. I have no idea where the fuck this chainsaw is. I'm I'm calling malarkey that there is in fact a chainsaw a secret. You are all lying to me, and there is proof, and the proof is I have not found it yet. It's in the slime area, really. Where is it in the slime area? There's no demon that scares you, huh? Lose your corner, no. I don't even think I would go so far as to say that the Pain Elemental or an Archfile or anything scares me. Ooh, that's a tough one. Which Cyber Demon design do I like most? Bite Fire, what are you laughing about? You know something I don't know? God damn it. <laughs> um, God. I might agree, maybe the Doom 2016 one. Like, I'm certainly not a fan of the Doom 3 one, even though it's not that bad or anything, but... Maybe the Doom 2016? You like the Doom 64 demon? What is up with my fucking camera today? I swear to God. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking break this thing with with my ass. That's it. I'm gonna, I, like, with my ass, I'm gonna figure out a way to, to destroy this camera. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the scientist boys to figure out how to make a combustible lemon, and I'm gonna use that lemon to burn this motherfucking house down because it'll take that goddamn webcam with it. out towards the slime waterfall and throw the switch into the corridor and walk to the west. I don't know why I should descend one single stair. Open the northern wall. Wait, what? With the... How's everyone doing? I hope I hope everyone's having a fantastic evening. I'm I'm doing okay. It's, it's all good. Everything's fine. Every it's fine. Don't even worry about it. <sighs> Maybe that's why I should have found it because it didn't have the design on it. I should have been like, hey, that has no design. Maybe if it has no design, that's the one I'm looking for. That would have been the logical thing to do. Fuck you, Chainmark. You don't like the design from Doom 3? Is the design from Doom 3 really that different, though? I feel like it's pretty close to the Doom 2 one. Just a little bit of... Uh... I think it's pretty close to Doom 2. Just more pixels. <laughs> I don't think it's that different. Wait, who the fuck is shooting at me? Where are you, dickbag? Asshole. The <laughs> Doom 3 Cyber Demon was ugly crap, holy shit. Tell me how you really feel, sir. I'm feeling like you're you're holding back. You need to, you need to tell me exactly how you feel about this Cyber Demon. Alright, well, I gotta... 40 fucking ammo. Alright. 
Yeah, I figured that was what was gonna happen. Okay, is the way is there a way the mancubus can like handle some of this? No. Fucking fine, mancubus. I'll do it myself. I don't need your help. Oh shit. <laughs> Maybe I do need his help. I was about to say I don't need his help. Uh, Doom 3 Cyber Demon's Rocket Launcher's on his right arm. Yeah, like, why would they change it to his right arm? Well, left-handed people uh, probably felt that uh, they were represented by the Cyber Demon. And now there is a lack of representation due to them removing, or moving his, uh, rocket launcher to the right arm. Fuck me. I will agree with that, Kieran, Kieran, ugh. Kieran Roy. <laughs> so bad with names. Uh, I do agree with that, though. The fight is not, is not challenging. Especially if you know how to, like, circle strafe. Because basically, if you can circle, circle strafe, you've, you've won the final, final fight of Doom 3. You just, you just circle strafe and, and, and you win. Shouldn't have killed that one. Shit. Back off. I feel like I need more shells. Ten, five, ten minutes? I, I can agree with five minutes. There's, if it took you ten minutes, I think you were stalling. That fight takes less than ten minutes. Fuck! Alright, starting over. We're starting over. Nope, nobody worry about it. At least I know where the fucking chainsaw is now. Can you guys info a little bit? Thank you. Just do a little bit of infighting, just just a little bit. I will greatly fuck. <laughs> but actually, like Doom Three in of itself isn't even that challenging when you really think about it. <laughs> What, like the the shotgun itself is just an automatic win button. You like the one from Dune 2016 because it has more weaponry and look like a badass. Well, yeah, but again, it was a proper it was a proper boss fight in Dune 2016, right? They they made it a proper uh, proper boss fight. Oh, you're not going to die, okay. Right, because when you think of like the boss monsters in Doom 2, like yes, they had more health and packed more of a punch than than the average enemy in Doom, but they didn't They didn't have a lot of oomph to them. Like I guess the Spider Mastermind is hard if you pistol start the game. Because the the spider mastermind doesn't have a lot of its level doesn't have a lot of ammunition in it, right? Like so, unlike you know, if you do it continuous, like you keep all your weapons from every level, like the spider mastermind is like no fucking trouble. You just run up to it with the BFG, shoot it once, and win. That that's literally all you do. Even the tyrants from Doom Eternal made the classics look like child's play? Well, yes. <laughs> because again, they had like multiple types of weaponry, they could really fuck you up, right? Do you gotta say though, like I really wasn't a fan of Doom Eternal. It was good, don't get me wrong, I've played a lot worse games than Doom Eternal. 
but at the end of the day, I wasn't I wasn't really impressed with it. Graphically, I was impressed with it. The game was fucking gorgeous. But gameplay-wise, I could, yeah, take it or leave it. But the tyrant was a was a good enemy, I think. I think they they did the tyrant pretty well. Well, the fact that they took away the Archvile's, like, resurrection ability was a little bit of a weird move, in my opinion. But then what they had to do from Doom 3 onward was just, oh, it, it summons enemies. It doesn't, it doesn't resurrect them, it just summons them. Which I guess is the same principle, it basically creates infinite enemies, but it's not not the same thing. Well, this would be a fantastic point for a fucking rocket launcher, but no, why would they give me a rocket launcher? I'm just gonna let that pinky eat his ass. It'd be absolutely rude. For me to interrupt the ass eating. You never interrupt a, a proper ass eating while in progress. It's just absolutely fucking rude to do so. And I am nothing if not, not a gentleman. <laughs> uh, I can't even say it with a straight face. Chainsawing them. Imps have like no health. There's no reason why I shouldn't chainsaw them. Unless they're swarming me, but they clearly are not doing that. <laughs> uh, gamer confession I've never played Ratchet and Clank. And, and I know that. I lose a little bit of gamer cred for not having played Ratchet and Clank. But what you, what you need to under what you need to understand <laughs> is that um, like my family wasn't wasn't poor. Calling us poor would be an insult to poor people. But we certainly weren't. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's it's fine. It's fine. You don't have to be sorry. Uh, we, we, we weren't poor, but, um, we did, we weren't, like, like, comfortable, right? Like, I had video game systems, like, so it's not like we were completely without entertainment or anything. But, we were only really afforded two video games a year, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> Which was our birthday... And Christmas. Those were the only times we only times you were able to purchase or get it have a game purchased for us. No other time. And Ratchet and Clank was at the time not on my radar. Nor do I even think I had the system for it. What system was that on? I don't remember what system that was on, but I feel like it was on the PlayStation or something. If it was on the PlayStation, I didn't own a PlayStation. For the same freaking reason. <laughs> I was about to say, I heard you shoot at me. I know you're down there, butthead. Let, let's do a pussy save. 
Uh, since I mentioned Eternals aesthetics before, that's one thing to really look forward to in Eve Eternity. A back to Saturn 2, but more so with Eve Eternity. The OTX texture pack used exclusively throughout the wall is incredibly detailed. Ooh, that sounds awesome. The Rhino is a rocket launcher that fires 10 rockets in one go? That is badass. Hook me up with a fucking Rhino, man. Shit. Fucking Mancubies, man. Eh. Yeah, so if it was on the PlayStation, I didn't even own a PlayStation. We were exclusively... We, we were exclusively a Nintendo household. <laughs> Which uh, I do know means there were definitely good games that I... I missed out on on console because of that, but I did get to play a lot of great games because of the Nintendo systems. Like, you know, Final Fantasy 4 and 6, for example. I got to play Super Mario RPG, which I still consider to be, like, probably in my top five games that I had the most fun with ever. Like, I don't know if that's a hot take. I'm sure there's people who don't like Super Mario RPG, but I think out of all the games I've ever played, that one was top five for me in terms of how fun it was. So I can't be sad that I that I had Nintendo systems, but I do know there's you know games like um, Ratchet and Clank or like Crash Bandicoot that I never got to play because of the fact I never had the appropriate systems for it. That was a sneaky Hell Knight, but I got him. I got him. Thought he had me. Like, I am fucking paranoid I'm gonna get fireballed from my... Like, just get a fireball right up the ass. <laughs> Just a forcefully a oh, shit. Okay, what is this? A shortcut? I like shortcuts, but why though? Oh sweet, I'm a punch. I'm over. Oh. 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 I'm overpowered now, bitches. I got a berserk. I cannot be fucked with. See, one punch. I am now one punch man. Mess with me. Come here. You don't fuck with one punch man. Mario RPG had all the discoverability. Yeah, I know. Like, there was so much cool shit hidden in Super Mario RPG. Yeah, you needed the Nintendo power. I know. Oh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Why, why can't they replace the chainsaw with a lightsaber? Uh, they probably don't want to get sued. <laughs> I'm sure there's some sort of suing that could occur. Actually, that's not true. Like, if you call it a lightsaber, maybe, but... There's all sorts of IPs use energy blades, so... I mean, they could just replace it with an energy blade. But, I mean, most of the weapons in Doom 2 are not, like, futuristic in that sense, right? The planet... Ooh, hello. What's with all the fucking stealthy Hell Knights here? Yeah, and, and, Jay, I gotta say, I, not too long ago, was nostalgic as fuck for Nintendo Power. 
I missed I missed Nintendo Power. And obviously it'd be useless to have one today. Or or for it to still exist today in its original form. Give me how do I how do I how do I get those? Maybe give Doom Guy the ability to use the force. Um a game similar to that already exists. I recommend checking out Control. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Okay, well, obviously I have to fucking get rid of you. Okay, I don't know where the fuck you all came from, but alright. Like, I know there's a rocket launcher out there, too. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. But yeah, I would recommend checking out the game Control. Control is a shooter that basically allows you to control a character that can use the Force. You can kill people with anything that telekinesis will let you pick up. I was about to say you can kill a person with a toilet, but the game actually doesn't have a lot of instances where you can pick up a toilet, so it would actually be false for me to say that. Even those fucking pinkies. But I don't need a BFG. I got a. I got other weapons at my disposal. I don't need no stinking BFG. I have a Berserk. I'm already overpowered as fuck. Oh, that pinky might fucking trap the Spider Mastermind depending on where it gets positioned. Okay, so there's just, like, an army of fucking pinkies off to the side there, is there? Okay, that Baron is trying to kill it. Alright. Nailed it. I just need a BFG to, uh, B, BFG. I just need a Baron to help me. Well, I think I pretty much hit the I win button. Well, I mean, like, oh shit. <laughs> that could have been bad. I mean, like, I, I think the, the, the Pinky is an extremely brave soul. Like, it gets one fucking bullet from the Spider Mastermind. Something that's like 60 times its size. And it goes, I am not going to fucking take that from you. Uh, one of the Cut Doom 2016 glory kills is when he uses the Force and picks up an imp to turn it into a ball. You know what, I can't even tell if you're memeing. Cause that's something it would fucking do. Okay, is there anybody left? There's somebody in here? Cool. Alright, I got all the enemies. It says I'm missing a secret. Okay, which I guess it must mean it's down here. Let's go take a look.
Alright, I wasn't missing much. Okay, so the level was alright. I mean, it's got, like, a spider mastermind right at the end there, so... Putting a boss monster in a secret level, I think, is, uh, good enough to make it a secret level. Viv is section. Well, then. I don't know if I like the sound of that at all. <laughs> Didn't even have to use the pussy save. You saw a YouTube clip where Pinky tried to eat an imp flying, kicking him? Wait, what? Oh, whoa, what the fuck? 242 enemies. That's an interesting jump. Okay, well, I have... I have pissed off... a hive's worth of things. I really need that Hell Knight to throw a fireball right now. I really need that Hell Knight to throw a fireball right now. I really need... I really... Okay, thank God. I'm helping. Woo! Okay, this is less good. Um, I don't have a ton of ammo, so can you just, like, go the fuck away? Man, I would kill for that chainsaw back. Oh, fuck me. You made a 2016 pinky run off a cliff? Why would you make him do that? That's cruel. Oh, and him tried to, to kick a pinky while the pinky tried to eat him at the same time. Man, that's... That would be the most baller wrestling move ever. Just try to do a flying head scissors so you just eat the son of a bitch. <laughs> he's on the top rope and oh my god, he's eating him. Considering how ridiculous wrestling gets sometimes, I don't see why that wouldn't happen. Jesus fucking Christ, what is with the... What is with the fuck? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I am not fucking having that. Well, I mean, I, I guess you technically did save ammunition, but... Dude, you didn't need to make him fucking run over a cliff. A dick move. Loser Corn, did you ever finish those baby caco demons you were working on? I, I don't know if I ever saw you finish. I know I saw you had the ping pong balls or whatever shaped like them, but I don't know if I ever saw you finish painting them. If I ever finished painting them, it was one of Spicy Waffles videos. Is that the kind of content Spicy Waffle usually put, put, uh, puts out? Like crazy, like monster com uh, attack combinations? Ah, see, I knew this was a secret because it, it had a light on it. And everyone knows lights are a symbol of. There's totally a secret here, guys. You actually forgot them, thanks for reminding you? But... Where were they then? Did they, were they just on your desk? Just gathering dust? Why Why would you do that to the to the, pink, to the poor little baby cacos? Okay, I feel like I don't want to go out there. 
Oh yeah, I know. Space Waffles is the one that created the video, but I was asking, like, does he... Is that the kind of content Spicy Waffle makes? Oh, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? Or does he usually do, like, gameplay videos, but then sprinkles it with some ridiculous clips? You got lazy, but with the baby cackles. They're babies, man! They need you to live! But you're telling me that's not damaging floor? Oh, it's not damaging floor. Okay. Oh, wow. Thanks for pointing me out here. This is very reasonable. Thanks, Bite Fire. I really appreciate it. Now, what can I really complain about, though? I mean, I finished Sunlust, which I will... I will brag about finishing Sunlust until the day I die. <laughs> but, I finished Sunlust, so frankly I shouldn't be afraid of two Revenants. I'm used to fighting, like, 46 of them at a time, so... Yeah, I'm gonna need all of you to just die, please. Like, you're, you're harsh on my buzz by being here. Cause cause I I feel that by by finishing Sunlust, even with saves, uh I well, okay, that's a great place to die. Even if I had to use saves, I feel by just finishing Sunlust. I have increased my Doom cred by like 10 times. Because if I can finish Sunlust, I, I can finish anything. Although I know there's probably some friggin' nut son of a bitch who's put out something way worse than Sunlust, but why did I do that? Okay, how do, how do I get. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Oh, well, well, if you're gonna feed shit for me to hit with the Berserk, I mean, you go right ahead. Just don't send, like, a Cyber Demon through and we're good. And in my attempt to dodge the Fireball, I walked into the Fireball. Because I am fantastic at my job. I got all that doom cred. Jesus Christ. Sunlust, have you played my tabletop games yet? Much more enjoyable. Sandy, look. No. <laughs> Not, not playing your, not playing your fucking board games, all right? Your board games, if I remember correctly, were something stupid like two hundred dollars a piece. Do I look like I can spend two hundred dollars a piece on a fucking board game? Do I look like I'm made out of money? God damn it, Sandy! Fuck you, Sandy. Thank you for the one dollar, though. I appreciate the one dollar. So I feel like this is the direction I was supposed to go this whole time. But I've been fucking around in every other direction first. I don't know how the pinkies, like... Okay, no, I wasn't, because that that's where the yellow key is, alright. I don't know how strong the pinky's jaws are that it's freaking tearing up a lost soul, but... Oh. Hello. Okay, I got three secrets. That's not bad.
I took a lot of damage on that one. That was that was that was a high damage roll. Oh, that pinky was taking a punishment. Once again, proving the Berserk is the most overpowered weapon in this fucking game. I just heard a Revenant activate, but I don't know where. And that worries me. H Hello? Hello, Re Revenant? Okay, no problem. They're gone. Not an issue. I, I guess I should go through the yellow key door now. I suppose. Am I supposed to be able to go down there? Because I'm pretty sure... I'm shooting him in the knees! Remember, guys, you always go for the knees. Fuck. Oh, that one was bad. That was bad. Shit, did I leave any health anywhere? God, those fucking high damage roll rockets, man, I tell ya. Stern looked like I didn't... Oh, okay, there's a med kit there. That's something. That's something. God, I went from, like, all the health to no health, like, instantaneously. Oh, hi. Cthulhu Wars is out of stock, so Sandy's laughing all the way to the bank. Oh, I'm sure Sandy's having a great fucking day. I'm sure Sandy is busy sitting on his fucking pile of money. Look, for all the shit I give Sandy, we need to be honest. Sandy... Uh, that's not the switch I meant, to, I meant to throw. Like, for all the shit we give Sandy, Sandy's obviously way more successful than I'll probably ever be in my life. Fucking hell. This RNG on the damage is just absolutely ridiculous. When I pray to RNGs, he never fucking listens. But when these fucking Hell Knights are like, uh, I need to really kill this Doom guy, can... Orange Jesus, can you help me out? Orange Jesus is like, yes, my son. I will thus smite Doom Guy with your rocket damage. He shall be smoted. I will even throw in a chili cheese fries. Sandy's more successful than you because he pumped out all the levels and didn't play Doom all day. I mean, technically the truth, but, I mean... How is that a secret? I can guarantee anything set in uh, RPG Maker is going to take way more effort than the amount of work that Sandy put into... RP then put into his doom levels. I'm telling you right now. Okay, so these open somehow. Did I just hear something open? How did that open? Uh, 
Some of his levels had two textures, huh? That's... <laughs> that's how we judge success, is it? He had two textures. Fucking artistic savant over here. With his two fucking textures. Bob Ross should be ashamed. Because of the artistic ability of one Sandy Peterson. With his... Amazing... Amazing ar uh, uh, artistic skill. Where is the door on that? Okay, well clearly that's supposed to open somehow and I, I don't know how. I am at a loss. Okay. Okay, what else is coming? I see those walls coming down. Okay. A, a, a number of imps I can deal with. But that, that's getting to be quite a large number of, of barons and hell knights now, though. So I, I'm gonna need you guys to fuck off. There's there's too many of you. It's absolute anarchy. I think I think uh, Doom should have laws about how many uh, enemies are allowed to be in one room. I think this is too many. It's fucking anarchy. They need to get it under control. Look, but we can't shit on Sandy too much for having, like, no textures. Because at the end of the day, isn't the level quality what matters more? Not how pretty it is. Wouldn't you rather have a... a ugly level that plays well over a pretty level that doesn't? I feel like we all know the answer to that question. Okay, don't instinctively lose the mother use the motherfucking rock on all the time, right? It's a dangerous piece of hardware. Fuck me. Go away. I'm trying to kill this fucking cackle demon and everything keeps getting in my way. Dude, this, this level, I don't know if it is larger, but certainly feels larger than anything else I've dealt with so far. Yeah, see, when it comes when it comes to level design and quality, you look to Sandy fucking Peterson. Sandy's got your back with his with his designs. Although apparently he should just design board games because apparently that's his forte. He definitely had a quality over quantity approach. Yes, he certainly did. And again, isn't that a commendable thing? If I had just held off for a second, that fucking hell knight would be in fighting, but no, I've got an itchy fucking trigger finger. Damn cackle demons with their giant fucking bodies, man. When I kill them, they take up so much fucking space, I can't see anything going on. They're just a head. How, how are they so big? What have they been eating? Let's 
do a let's do a pussy save. Oh, this fucking opens everything up. This is this is not good. I mean, if I don't watch, I'm gonna get attacked on all fucking sides here. Okay, this is this is out of hand. Oh fuck. Okay, this is this is getting really fucking out of hand now. I, I really need need you fuckers to die. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Let's get a little, a little bit more reasonable in here. Where did you come from? I don't have time for your shit. I just got fucking gang banged over here. <sighs> okay, so bad question day, finishing thy flesh consumed deathless uh, was difficult. I suppose it was. Is that still, however, your proudest achievement? Do you look at that and go, man, I was fucking nuts for doing that. <laughs> Look at that circle strafing. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jay, for... <laughs> thank you for complimenting my circle strafing. I much appreciate it. The $1 donation to commend it was... Is, is very welcomed, and I am grateful for it. I don't understand. How does he open these? How, how, how do we open these doors? Like, what is Doom Guy doing to open them? Like, I don't understand how he's opening them. Does he literally just go to it and just will it to be open? Like, I don't understand. Max out El Elder Scrolls character? I mean, that is certainly something to be proud of as well. Can I get up there? I feel like there's something there, but I don't know how I'm supposed to get to it. Oh, I didn't fucking mean to do that, I can tell you that much. And you and you actually finished Elder Scrolls, the original Elder Scrolls, right? 100% San Andreas, I would agree, is a pretty awesome achievement. But we also know that you clearly looked up a walkthrough to do that. So I don't know if that diminishes it a little bit. But frankly, given how ridiculous it probably was to find all that shit, I certainly don't fault you for wanting to use a walkthrough. Because I can guarantee you would have been there for like fucking years trying to find everything. Otherwise. 
especially in a especially in a situation as large as fucking San Andreas definitely was. Well, see, that's just the thing, too, because even if you say, like, well, this was clearly used or meant to use the internet. So that's probably true. You, They kind of figured that you were going to use walkthroughs. But even then, like, there still had to be somebody who found all the individual collectibles, right? So what, what is that person doing so crazily that they were like, you know what? I'm going to fucking find this. No. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Like, so, no matter how you swing it, somebody had to do, do the legwork and locate each and every collectible thing. And maybe it wasn't one person, maybe it was a collective effort. But there had to be a large group of people doing it. The chain gunner is causing some havoc. Remedy is terrible at collectibles. Well, it's... Okay, like, if... Let, let's use an example from, say, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft had... Oh, everything's dead. Oh, awesome. This is the final secret. Yep. Awesome, awesome. So that's everything, right? Yeah, let's get out of here. But, like, let's use something from, like, World of Warcraft, for example. So, World of Warcraft had a couple of instances where very specific things had to occur in order for you to find, say, a certain enemy out in the world. And there was, like, really, like, long things, and some of them were just, like, kind of ridiculous. Like, you found some piece of paper that told you about a place to go, and you were meant to, like look at the World of Warcraft's, like, art books and things that held references to what was in that paper that would lead you to certain places in the world and you had to click on a certain thing in a certain area that would give you a clue to go to the next place, but again, you had to have these, like, other medias. Like... Now, with World of Warcraft... Ooh, Inferno of Blood, that's a cool name. Uh, where am I map? Okay. So, with a... Um... With a thing like that, World of Warcraft does have the advantage of it's an MMO, so there's a lot of people going around poking at everything at once, right? So, collectively, eventually every secret would get found because... Just the sheer number of people looking. Man, it is... It is red in here. But, if you look up all of that stuff, and know where to go to poke at everything individually, it somewhat tarnishes the achievement, because you had to look up somebody else's work. So when you have something like Remedy, where, like, that TV thing. Like, the only clue that you had to pick up those TVs and throw it in the furnace was the fact that the TV was on, like, the fucking fireplace channel. So... And then the... But then the problem with that was you didn't know what you were supposed to do with them. Even if you figured out, you didn't know how many TVs there were. But maybe, again, they were expecting people to work together. Now, there is a bit of community that occurs when everybody has to pitch in. Wow, me, that was fucking beautiful. 
I guess there is something to be said for having a secret where everybody has to pitch in to find it. Right? But, like, is that what San Andreas intended? You had to use the internet? Or was... Oh, shit. The last puzzle in the last DLC has to be a collective effort. And then that was probably what they meant to do then. They wanted to make a collective effort puzzle to bring the community together to, to work on something. Which again, can be cool. There's something cool about that collaboration effort. But my problem with those collaboration efforts is once the secret is found, Nobody's collaborating on the secrets anymore, right? And if... Oh, okay. Bye, 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 Blue Key. I'll miss you. So, if you weren't there when Control first came out, like I wasn't, right? I don't get to be part of that collaborative effort. So I'm forced to simply look it up on the internet, which obviously isn't as fun. But it's totally not something you could, if it's totally not something you can do on your own, I do feel that's not cool to so make puzzles that I can't figure out on my own, but in order to experience the fun of finding it, I need to be doing it with other people, but other people are not going to be doing that. And that's why you pre-order FOMO. Uh, see, no, because you should never pre-order anything. Pre-ordering is... I fucking forgot the revenants were over there. Wow, that was fucking dumb of me. But yeah, you should never pre-order anything. Pre-ordering is ruining the video game industry. And by pre-ordering, you are part of the problem. So, no. Never pre-order. There hasn't been a single fucking AAA game come out in the longest time now. That wasn't hyped up and was good. Like, <laughs> or good from the get-go. Like, when shit like No Man's Sky happens, Fallout 76 happens fucking anthem happens and now finally with cyberpunk people should just they need to stop pre-ordering just stop <laughs> you're only hurting yourself so just just do not do not pre-order just just don't i can play doom 2 with all these mods and everything have entertainment guilt free because I don't have to pre order any bullshit. Or play any other bullshit, really. Okay, so I see this BFG. I have no idea how to get this BFG. God damn, my ear is itchy. I have no idea how to get this goddamn BFG. Okay, I'll come back for that Revenant here in a minute. Fine, don't come low enough that I can make you in a fight. Whatever. There's a bunch of switches I have to hit all over the map in order to lower that barrier. Awesome, and since I'm pistol starting, what's gonna probably happen is that BFG is not gonna be available until the end of the goddamn level, and then I'm not gonna be able to use it because I'm going to pistol start the next level. That's definitely what's going to happen.
Okay, me, I need you to stop wasting fucking pellets, like... That was like at the end of that Sunlust level where you, you pick up the BFG, do this huge fucking fight, like fucking massive fight, and then the level is over. So if you're doing continuous play, you get rewarded, but if you're doing pistol start, which I will add, the wiki says the fucking levels were made to be done. They were made to be pistol started. Doing that was a dick move, and you can't change my mind. See, nobody said that this wad was intended to be pistol started. And because of that, I feel it's my own fault for pistol starting, and therefore losing out on a cool weapon at the end of the level. But, Sunless had no excuse. It was a dick move. Can't convince me otherwise. Uh, no. Yeah, but then again, he was also a pushover. I'm really, really loving these nondescript walls here. Being the things that hold secrets. It's, that's cool. Why'd I shoot the gun? I don't know. No goddamn idea. Okay, hang on a second. I want to get this fucking... Out. Get this revenue. I don't want to listen to him anymore. Okay, perfect. He shut up. Oh, yay! A secret level, or a secret area. I think it's more accurate to say that the maps are balanced for pistol starts. If they were really intended to be pistol starts, they could have easily put in unskippable death triggers in every map, because most people playing casually aren't going to hit IDC LPV after every map. I mean, that is true. But I mean, Sunlust was even, even said on his wiki that it was intended to be... It was it was done with pistol starting in mind. And I'm probably going to die now. Mostly because I can't fucking aim for shit, apparently. So, while Sunlust did do a few unskippable, uh, deaths... ...or unskippable death triggers at the end of the levels... ...it did that a few times... ...um, to guarantee that some levels were... Oh, hang on. I'm supposed to do this. It still said it was... Well, shit, what the hell did I just do? <laughs> still said, and I will go by, that it was made... It was made with pistol start in mind. How come that pinky back there saw me? But the other things that were standing, like, right in front of me were just like, Oh, man, what is that shimmering? Does anybody know what that shimmering is? I don't- I, I feel like I don't know what that shimmering is. Okay. Okay, so we're, we're just doing this, are we? Oh boy, what did I just do?
Okay, so I'm guessing that's one of the three switches. Can I get out of here, or what? Okay, just, just the stairs. Alright. Nothing fancy, just need to take the stairs out. Okay, there's definitely one less switch there. And that probably explains why there's, why there's 11 fucking secrets in this map. Rockets, but no rocket launcher yet. Keep hearing these bastards sneaking around. Okay, cells for the BFG that I will totally get before the end of the level. Hundred percent getting them before the end of the level. It certainly wouldn't fuck me over like that, right, guys? Right? I'll just take a few fireballs to the face. It's fine. Well, fuck me, I guess. Fuck me, my stupid face. God, this is terrible. <laughs> Fucking pain chance isn't high enough. This is bullshit. So Mogera can't really move his legs. That's fine. Mogera barely moves its legs in the movies. <laughs> so, whatever. Oh, and that is true though. Mogera was in a Godzilla movie. Originally, Mogera was only in, like, uh, another Toho movie, Attack of the, like, Mushroom People or some bullshit. Oh boy, these switches certainly look like they're only going to do good things. But yeah, Mogera was in one Godzilla movie, but I can't remember which. Fuck. I don't remember which one it was. What's the upside? What's the upside to him not moving his legs? Because I mean, that sounds awful for him. <laughs> So I hope there's some sort of upside, because that's... Shit. So that sounds like he's getting the shitty end of the deal here. Now I'm paranoid about something else coming up fucking behind me. Alright. Oh! Fuck. Okay, so this level's kind of, kind of fucking me in the ass here. It's getting closer to the end of the night though, so I should probably actually start saving a little bit. Trying to do deathless runs of this one is uh, causing issues. Forgot he was there. Smooth move. Oh! Double kill! Guys, see that shit?
Okay, what are you doing up there? Fuck. You being up there is extremely problematic for me. I feel the beginning of this level doesn't have enough ammo to make me feel comfortable. Once again, goodbye, Blue Key. You will be missed. I will miss the times we had together. This was basically just non existent because I just met you and. He kind of just left. Okay, so let's try this section for what, the fucking third time now? Can you guys infight? Like, it's not gonna help me very much, but. Even just a little infighting. Just just a little infighting. Just a little infighting. Apparently I've run into the only fucking pacifist demons in this whole goddamn area. Christ almighty. No, no, no. I don't have time for your fucking homing rockets, alright? Okay, good. We got some infighting going on. You love to see it. God, my wrist is even starting to hurt. Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, nope. I almost overshot that. <laughs> Chainsaw works against cacos. Okay, so there's a secret down here, so I'll go grab that one. Again, you're definitely supposed to be able to tell- Oh, my camera went out. It was doing so well. Let's fix you. Inspectors. Oh, I guess he got hit. Okay, now dealing with you guys is going to be fun. No, no, stop it. Fuck off with the homing rockets, all right? All right, okay. Great. I got so overzealous with my fucking circle strafing, uh, or my strafing, I just went ahead and got myself hit in the face. Oh, my, my bad. Please, my bad. Let's do this first. Go this way first. Okay, 
Hey, using invisibility sphere for this is probably a bad idea. The invisibility, invisibility sphere really is one of the like worst power-ups. Because you legitimately cannot dodge anything. Because you don't know where that fucking fireball is going to end up going. Why did I shoot the gun? Who knows? That's supposed to go there. Okay. You're never... Like, I see you throwing fireballs at me, and I never seem to be looking at you when you... Okay, one switch down. Okay, nothing there. I guess the line death just wasn't finished. Okay, no. I thought like, oh, that's probably one too. No. So to make it feel like there's supposed to be something there, at least the automat makes it look that way. Let's just do a save, just in case. While I am trying to do these death lists, I've only, this is my first time playing it, so I probably shouldn't be so bold as to think I can just do that. Let's see here. And you really are the worst hit scanners to just not get under control immediately because you fuckers drain health like nobody's business. Hey, hey. the plasma so this next section has a little bit of something going for me I also know uh, the dumb fuckery I'm about to experience so okay I feel like I need to be taking them on this side I really need to lure them away from where I saw the arch file before. The arch file showed up on that side, so that seems to be the side that's gonna give me problems. Actually, I should be luring all of you back here. Honestly. Knowing what's coming, I shouldn't be letting any of you die over by that wall. Do I have, like, more ammo than last time? Okay, I can't remember if there was enemies over here or not. You guys over here too, please. Get away, get away from where the arch file shows up. I'm not having that bullshit. Whoa, where'd you come from? do not know where he came from. We 
Wait, is the arch file here somewhere? Oh, there I don't hear it. Where is he? He's resurrecting, is it? Oh, fuck. Hello. I didn't think I'd see a fucking taco cloud. But okay. I didn't even actually pick up the key. So I think this is a, a gross overreaction on the demon's part. That was a, a very gross overreaction. Okay, he's in here. If he, if he keeps rising. Okay, I was gonna say, if he keeps raising imps, that's not bad. Yeah, sure, just fire the double barrel shotgun. Waste two fucking shells, it's fine. Yeah, if he's resurrecting imps, that's not a big deal. One second. Oh, we found out why Shadowland sucked? Um, are you talking about the, uh, allegations that recently came out? Or are you talking about something else? Hmm. How do I do things? <laughs> Poor wrist. <laughs> My poor wrist. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, it was. I read the headline. The headline said allegations. I didn't know <laughs> if it was just allegations. I did think it was kind of weird to be sued if they were just allegations. Where are these enemies coming from? But is that what you were talking about? Is that why what you meant by they were too busy? Okay, they got a bunch of dead corpses back here. Well, the impression I get is that that shit was going on before Shadowlands. Like, that's not new stuff that's been happening. Maybe you can blame most of WoW in the last little while on it. Yeah, exactly. So, this goes beyond Shadowlands sucking. This is... This is a whole lot of suck. <laughs> well, now that I've sufficiently wasted all my fucking cells on those goddamn pain elementals. Yeah, so th that, that shit's been going on way too long. Just, oh shit, just to blame, just to blame Shadowlands. <laughs> Thank you. 
and is Bobby Kotick himself being uh, well, are being uh, accused of any of this, or is it just he'll get fired because his company is getting fucking sued? Okay, so it's because he's in charge. Okay. Just clarifying. I did hear that people were, um... Protesting... In-game. Uh, they are doing, like, a Capital City sit-in. And there's an NPC that's actually... Made... Was actually made in tribute to an employee who was accused of some of these things. Uh, now that employee doesn't work for the company anymore, but his character is still there. And people are like protesting near the character. <laughs> and putting like signs next to it going like get out or tears ahead and shit like this. Dump him and maybe games won't suck and be filled with microtransactions. That that goes way beyond just Bobby. That is a oh fuck. That is a problem that is just industry wide at this point. Game rid of Bobby Kotick won't get rid of microtransactions. Microtransactions are just too fucking lucrative now. Because it's not just Activision Blizzard that does it. Oh, hey, uh, Morton. How you doing this evening, sir? I'm getting close to the end of my stream, but it's glad to see you here. I'm very glad. Jumping down here might have been a little premature, but it's much easier to kill remnants up close. What are you up to uh, this e afternoon? <laughs> Morning? Morning, right? <laughs> what are you up to this Saturday morning? I'm going to be trying out some Doom Lods. Awesome, awesome. Actually, when ma speaking of master levels, that's what I'm going to play after I finish. Um, after I finish these uh, no levels for no rest for the living, I think I'm going to do master levels next. Okay. That is a lot of shit. Ooh, fuck. That is a lot of shit. Of course, there's a fucking pain elemental there. Man, that was fucking intense. You heard Scythe is very hard, especially map 30. Never played Scythe, but hey, I can put it on a long list of wads I need to check out. You don't know how, but they'll announce something soon that ruins Diablo 2 somehow. I mean, probably. The last map of No Rest for Living is hard too. Oh, great. Because I've actually been kind of doing this deathless. Like, in, in terms of I'm not saving throughout the levels. And, um... Like, so the wad's not terribly difficult. But uh, you're basically saying I might not want to fuck with that final map then. Okay, so I have killed everything in the map and somehow only found fucking four secrets. Well, this might help though. 
These are quite simple, but a little challenging until you get to the final map. Oh, it's one of those fucking difficulty curves, is it? <laughs> awesome. Oh yeah, there's on Xbox. Oh, again, man, you you impress me with your ability to play first-person shooters on a controller. But yeah, Jay, I, I assume Do Diablo 2 will get ruined somehow, I mean... Uh... Okay, so what, what, this is just a fucking exit? That's a big room for just an exit. Oh, so there's just been a secret in here this whole time, has there? Oh, no por problem, uh, Morgan. I mean, like, and I'm serious, too, like, I... Wow. Five armor bonuses really... Really pushing the envelope there. Like, I've played briefly some shooters on controller, and man... I, I am not good at using controllers for first-person shooters. Okay, I gotta go hunting, clearly. When you next stream, I'll let you know my experience. Well, well my next stream will actually be tomorrow, tomorrow night. I won't be playing Doom, though. I think I'll actually be playing Quake. Saturdays is when I usually do non-Doom stuff, and I'm thinking I might have to start doing non-Doom stuff on both Friday and Saturday, because I don't want to get burnt out on Doom. That would be depressing. Okay, so how the fuck do you... Oh, there. Looks like I hit every wall except for the wall I needed to hit. Is that, is that how I'm supposed to do that? Am I supposed to stray from? What, am I supposed to SR50? What do you think I am, fucking pro? Ah, uh, Jay, I think I remember slightly how to do Nightmare. You had to go into, like, the episode 4 area, and there's, like, a hidden passage there. Oh, I'm not good at SR50. You have to say it, but you don't like how you're at 24 subscribe subscribers, and I'm at 16. Why don't you like that? Wouldn't that be a good thing, to have more subscribers than me? I can do this. I, I swear I can make this. Shit. My my problem, uh, probably... Oh shit. <laughs> That's not right. God, I cannot SR50. I do not know how to do this correctly. Ah, there we go. Oh, well, I appreciate, Loser Corn, that you want me to have more, but... I mean... The problem with saying, like, I need more subscribers is it's really on me to make content that... Um... People would want to watch. And the, other, and the, the difficult thing that I have with that... Is what I've mostly put on YouTube. Oh, thanks for the Doritos, man. I love Doritos. Uh, most of my, the things I put on YouTube are just um, my streams. And nobody's going to watch a two hour YouTube video if it gets recommended to them. Or at least very few people would. Yeah, look, see? Picked it up at the end of the level. Yay! So, really, if I want to say that, oh, I should be having more subscribers, I need to start making more content that's like shorthand 10, 15, 20 minute videos, right? 
Because that's what you make, Loser Corner. You make uh, five minute, ten minute videos. And those are the ones that are going to get recommended to YouTube. People are more willing to check them out. Nobody's going to check out a two hour video of somebody they don't know. And clearly getting discovered on YouTube with just streaming is not simple. It's theoretically supposed to be easier than Twitch, but I haven't found that so far. Baron's Banquet. My god, I wonder... I wonder what enemy I'm gonna find a whole bunch here. Another fucking 11 secrets. Ugh. Anyway. I should move me over a little bit, get me out of the box here. Sorry, Sa Sandy, I'm gonna just get in front of you here. <laughs> um... But yeah, no, I need, I, if I really want to get subscribers on YouTube, that's what I have to do. I have to, um, I have to make more content that's more palatable for people. Like, my first Memento Mori video got like 30 views. I don't get 30 views on my streams on YouTube, but I got 30 views on that. Now, a lot of people didn't watch the whole video, but that's typical for YouTube. People got really bad ADD. But like what you create is small shorthand videos. So you're technically doing YouTube better than I am. So of course you would have a few more subscribers than me. So don't worry about that. Ugh. I think my problem is I just play too much shit when I'm offline. <laughs> so instead of like working on YouTube videos, I'm... Um, playing games on my nights off but I also just you know I don't want to make videos without a reason to make videos like I don't want to just make pump out videos for the sake of making videos I could just do reddit reactions if I wanted to do that oh let me look at this random subreddit and react to it oh 9,000 views awesome but uh I mean if I'm desperate I could start doing that <laughs> but Anyway, it's the end of the night, so I'm going to take off. Uh, so I'll be playing Quake tomorrow, and I'll double check how to do Nightmare uh, to make sure I get that so I can go ahead on my first run through, absolutely get fucking slaughtered. Um, and then I'll be back Monday with more of my dad's watts for Doom on Monday. And then my normal Doom content. And maybe I'll do Quake two nights next week. Maybe I'll do Friday and Saturday. We'll see how well uh, or how much people enjoy the Quake stream. And then we'll judge from there. Uh, no, thank you, Bitefire, for showing up. I always appreciate you being here. Uh, I, know, I know that you love Doom and there's a lot of big uh, Doom streamers. So I appreciate you even being in my, my chat at all. But thanks, Bike Fire. Thanks, Morton. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, Loser Corner. And uh, I'm assuming he took off, but uh, the Kieran Roy, I think his name was. Yeah. Uh, I think him as well for even just checking out my stream briefly. So I will be back tomorrow night, and I will see you guys then. Good night. My wrist is actually killing me. I'm going to give myself carpal tunnel from playing Doom. I can't tell if that makes me pro or like a weakling. Ugh. Anyway, Sandy, I'm getting out of the hot tub. Um, so uh, I'm not wearing pants, so I hope you're okay with that. Yes? Okay, fantastic. Good night.